Hello and welcome to Delphi 101, a Delphi training series. This is Database Components, Lesson 2. My name is Mike Roslog and I'm the Product Manager for Rad Studio. In today's lesson, we're going to understand the database components that are included in Delphi. Just like any other application built with Delphi, the database components make it easy to work with databases as easy as dragging and dropping components onto a form. No matter what the database technology, the approach is still the same. When you work with DB Express, you always follow the same pattern no matter what the underlying database may be. You first make a connection to the underlying database. Remember, DB Express is a disconnected database, which means that you go out, make a connection, do some work, then disconnect. Define an interaction, a table, a query to hold your result set. You then add a provider to provide the data to some holder of that result set which in this case would be a client data set. The client data set gives us a unidirectional ability with that result set, allowing us to go forward and backwards, modify, change the data, and then resolve it back later. Connect to a T data source, which will allow me to take the information and forward it to our data controls and allow me to work with the data. The process is fairly straightforward. When you go into DB Express, you go and drop an SQL connection onto the form. Once that's been dropped onto the form, you then basically set its properties by picking the database and the connection strings needed to talk to that database. This is basically making a connection to the database. When you add the interaction to it, it's simple. You take the SQL connection that you dropped onto the form, you then drop down one of the connection structures or one of the interaction structures such as SQL data, SQL query, SQL table, or SQL store proc. From there, you then add your connection string. From there, that could be an insert, update, select, or delete. This returns a unidirectional data set back to the structure, and SQL data sets select statements, but can also handle query, tables, store procedures, and server methods. And remember, the SQL query, the SQL table, and the SQL store proc all work similarly. Providers are very interesting. Once you have your connection to it, and you have your inf interaction defined, you then use a provider to, as a conduit to pass data back and forth from the database to the client side data set. So providers provides data to a data set that can be resolved then to the data set or to its underlying database server. It works in conjunction with T client data sets and the provider passes data sets to the client data set. Providers also receive data from the da client data set to go back to the backend database. And the provider applies those updates to the database or the so underlying source data structure. When you look at tClient data sets to the structure, what this does is basically hold the information inside of a unidirectional format. This allows to be represented on disk and be disconnected. It also allows the source to be a separate system so I can actually disconnect and use it as a caching mechanism in a multi-tiered database application. It can also stand alone and work fully functional as a standalone database itself. And it represents an in-memory data set, so it allows me to navigate my data forward and backwards, change, make changes, and then apply those changes back to a data set. Once we have that, we then add our T data source. That T data source basically takes the client data set and it uses it as a conduit between the data set components and our data aware components. This allows me to display the data allows me to navigate through the data both forward and backward and also allows me to edit the data and then through the data set provider I can then make changes and update the underlying data providers. When we have data controls the components themselves are a full set of components that we have inside of there and the data aware components allow for displaying, navigating, and updating the underlying data from the data provider. It's a set of standard components for form. Things like navigators, edits, images, etc. You can do all kinds of stuff with it inside of there. And remember, there are both commercial and open source components that are available for extension. So in summary, the Delphi brings a strong database development solution, a simple database layer that's easy to connect to almost any database. It communicates through a data access layer, allowing me to work in a disconnected mode, which means that I connect to the database, do some work, and then disconnect. It exposes information through a set of data aware components 
and then I can use a simple drag and drop development for all of my database access. A complete set of data where components are included with Delphi, but also additionally there are components available either through open source or through commercial vendors. With that I thank you and let's go in and take a look at a really quick example of building a database application with Delphi. I'm in Delphi now so I'm going to say file new VCL application and we will kick off an application here. To shorten the timeline to do this, I'm going to go into my Data Explorer, as I mentioned in the presentation, and I'm going to drag a connection to that. I'm going to use Firebird, and I'm going to drag my customer onto my form. You'll notice that a connection gets created, and also an, an SQL data set for my customer. This Firebird connection has all of the connection properties defined already. The customer already has all of the customer in a T table structure for returning the, the contents of the customer table. From here I want to go back into my data access and I want to drop a T data set provider. The data set provider is going to connect to my customer. From there I'm going to drop a T client data set and from there I'm going to set its provider to my T provider. So what I've done is I've got a connection to the database that's going to work with the table customer that's going to be provided to the client data set through my data set provider. Any changes I make to my client data set will be then passed back through the provider back to customer and back to the underlying database. Now with this all I have to do is connect to my process by connecting to my driver, connecting to the actual table, and then coming into my client data set and saying connect. The next thing I want to do is I want to expose the tables or the fields available on that. So I go into Fields Editor, right mouse click in here and say Add All Fields, and then I'm going to come in and select a couple of these fields and I'm going to drag them onto my form. When I do that, you'll notice that I have things added to my form. These are the actual fields that were in my database. Notice that a data source was also dropped in the process. As I said, we have our connection to our table, which is then provided to our client data set and then is exposed through the data source out to my data aware components. Notice that since everything is already active, I have live data in my structure. The last thing I want to do is add a data control to this so I can navigate to and from. So I drop a navigator on here and then I'm going to drop or connect that navigator to the data source. Now that I have that, the connection has been made. I can now go ahead and run this application inside of Delphi and I have now just created a live two-tier database application with Delphi in a very short amount of time. Go. Hopefully this has been informative. I thank you for listening. Have a great day. Bye-bye.